みなさん、こんにちは。Today we're going to take a look at lesson 8 and using informal speech patterns to quote thoughts and to quote the speech of self and others. Before we begin, let's take a look at the particle to. To has two uses when quoting thoughts or quoting speech. That is, the first is as a sort of set of quotation marks around what is being thought or what is being said. It simultaneously also functions as the word that in sentences like, I think that it's hot, or I think that I will go to the party. Now, we've been looking at short or informal speech forms here in lesson 8. And in fact, we must use these short speech forms when quoting the thoughts in our head or the speech of self and others. Another point to be careful of here nouns and na adjectives require the use of da before the quotation particle to. And finally, note that you can use virtually any verb of communication with the quotation particle to,、uh, for which the same rules apply. Kotairu, for example, to answer, kiku, to ask, and so on. Let's take a look at some example sentences. We'll start here first with the easiest form of sentence, just with simple adjectives. Consider, for example, the following statement Atsui desu. It is hot. How do we take it from being a simple statement to a statement of opinion? I think that it's hot. Well, we'll simply use the short version of atsui desu, which is just simply atsui. Followed by the quotation particle to, and then our verb for to think, which is omoimas. The sentence, therefore, I think it's hot, is atsui to omoimas. What about statements of opinion using na adjectives? Well, please recall from my earlier caution that na adjectives and nouns both require da before the quotation particle to. As such, a statement like, Kire desu, she's pretty, when expressed as a matter of opinion, becomes, Kire da to omoimasu. Kire da to omoimasu. Remember again, da is required when using a na adjective like kire before the quotation particle to. Therefore, Kire da to omoimasu, I think she's pretty. How about statements of opinion using nouns? Consider the following statement America jin desu. America jin desu. They're American. Please recall again that na adjectives and nouns require da before the quotation particle to. Therefore, to say, I think they're Americans, we would need to say, America jin da to omoimasu. アメリカ人だと思います。I think they're American. And finally, how do we use verbs with statements of opinion? Please recall that we have to use short forms of verbs anytime we're going to use と思います or と言っていました。I think or I said or someone said. This can be either the short affirmative or the short negative, depending on what it is you'd like to say. Let's say, for example, your friend asks you, What are you going to be doing this weekend? You want to say, I'm going to cook, or I think I'll cook. Take the sentence, Ryori shimasu, to cook. To tell your friend, I think I'll do some cooking this weekend, you would say something like this, Ryori suru, again, short form, we must use the short form before the particle to, followed by, Omoimasu. Ryori suru to omoimasu. I think I'll do some cooking. How do we, in Japanese, express the idea, I don't think something? It's a bit different than in English. Let's take a look. Consider the following. We all know from the Genki textbook that, well, Takeshi's got a thing for Mary. And we want to make a statement about that fact. We want to say, I think Takeshi likes Mary. We'd phrase it something like this Takeshi san wa Mary san ga suki desu. That is, rather, stating the fact Takeshi likes Mary. But let's say it's not immediately apparent or obvious, and so we want to say, I think Takeshi likes Mary. How will we state that? 
recall yet again that na adjectives, and remember, ski is a na adjective, require da before the quotation particle to, and omoimas. So if we wanted to say, I think Takeshi likes Mary, we'd say something like this. Takeshi-san wa Mary-san ga suki da to omoimasu. Takeshi-san wa Mary-san ga suki da to omoimasu. Demo, however. But let's say that I'm not convinced that Mary likes Takeshi in return. How would we say, I don't think Mary likes Takeshi? Well, here's how not to say it first. Mary-san wa Takeshi-san ga suki da to omoimasen. So why don't we say it this way? Why can't we say omoimasen? Generally speaking, the Japanese are not in the habit of saying I don't think that when they want to say a negative. That is to say, the Japanese prefer to express it as an affirmative by using omoimas and then making the negative part the part that precedes it, that is, the noun or the verb or the adjective being the negative. So rather than stating it as, I don't think Mary likes Takeshi, the Japanese way, the native way to express it would be to say, Mary does not like Takeshi, I think. Here's what it would actually look like in Japanese. A native, therefore, would then say it like this instead. Mary-san wa Takeshi-san ga suki janai to omoimasu. Again, note the affirmative omoimasu. And the negative has been placed here. If we translate this sentence literally, as for Mary, Takeshi does not like, I think. That is to say, Mary does not like Takeshi, I think. One of the few instances in which the Japanese will in fact use omoimasen is when they want to say, I don't think so. That phrase looks and sounds something like this. Watashi wa so omoimasen. Watashi wa so omoimasen. As in, hey Mary, I think Takeshi likes you. Her response might be, Watashi wa so omoimasen. In other words, I don't think so. One of the other uses for short forms, and in a sense continuing with the quotation we were looking at earlier, is quoting what people have said. We can use to omoimas to sort of quote what's going on in our own heads, our thoughts, our feelings, and so on, but we can directly use to and the verb you, imas, to quote what people say. Let's say Mary and Kaori are talking, and Mary tells her friend Kaori, Ashita, Party ga arimasu yo. Ashita, party ga arimasu yo. Tomorrow, there's a party. Kaori wants to pass on the good news about the party, and so, thinking of what Mary told her, Ashita, party ga arimasu yo. She quotes Mary's speech and tells it to you like this. Mary-san wa ashita party ga aru to itte imashita. We need to focus on a couple things here. First, please note that we've taken Mary's sentence and we've basically made it into the short informal version. Ashita party ga arimasu. We've changed that here to Ashita party ga aru. We also have the quotation marker to and we're using itte imashita as our verb. Itte is, of course, the te form of you, or imas, to say, and imashita is the continuative past, that is, was saying. We can use itte imashita when we want to tell someone, I was talking to such and such, and they were telling me, or they were saying. So we translate this whole thing as, Mary was telling me that there's going to be a party tomorrow. Mary-san wa ashita. Now, if you weren't actually there and didn't hear Mary say that there was a party, perhaps this information came to you second or third hand from someone else, you would use the verb いました instead. 
E Mashta gives the feeling of, well, a statement of fact about what someone said. It just simply reports back what was said by someone rather than he or she was saying, like Itte Imashita does. As such, you'll see this used quite often in news reports, in books, novels, that sort of thing. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please be sure to post them to the forum on Schoology. Jamatane.